I was basically inspired um, to raise awareness about menopause because of my own blissful, not blissful, ignorance. Um, you know, I, I kind of fell into a black hole um, at the end of my 40s. I spent two years with extreme anxiety and insomnia, insomnia really completely ignorant as to what was causing it. I had no idea that it could be midlife hormonal turbulence, you know, I sort of vaguely knew that I knew the word menopause and I, I, I knew that, you know, it was basically hot flushes as far as I was concerned. And so, you know, to discover finally after two years to be diagnosed and understand what was going on and happily for me to go on to HRT and, and feel better again, um, I was just motivated by the fact that I didn't want anyone else, especially my daughter, uh, to go through the same thing, not understanding what was happening to her body. And I really couldn't understand the degree of secrecy and shame around a topic uh, and indeed a phase, a liminal phase, that every woman will go through and yet seemed to me to be, you know, the greatest secret that the world could hold. First of all, I think that to have a standard is a miracle in itself. You know, it's something I couldn't have even imagined 10 years ago when, when, when I was going through perimenopause. And so I think the fact that it puts it on the table, um, it makes it very public and it gives women at work and employers something to refer to, I think is absolutely imperative. And I mean, who knew that a standard could operate in such an incredibly important area? So I think, first of all, that I think it also gives women a platform, a sense that they can bring up issues relating to their biological health, their hormonal health issues. Um, but more importantly, in a way, I think it means that employers, hopefully, will actually start asking employees what they need. The important thing to me is that we create a woman-shaped space in the working world. And that's not going to happen by kind of edging in and sliding in sideways and dipping a toe. It's going to happen because there's a full-scale revolution where people realize that 50% of the population have to be not just considered, tolerated and allowed for when it comes to their biological journey, but actually the world needs to be shaped around them and the working world. You know, we've proved how imperative we are to the economy. Uh, now, actually, we need to be rewarded for that by being treated as equal citizens and not as the, you know, proverbial spare rib.